meeting to order again and uh, ask for public comment. We have we have about five minutes if you want. I can be very quick. Okay. It's good to see the public comment up front. I am a citizen of Salvo House. I am strongly suggesting, even requesting, the ADA look into the eviction of resident who was in 7112 a severely disabled woman. I won't use any names since we are in public. I can provide names to the committee. I believe that the residence in Southern 112 was improperly evicted and I can provide many details to anybody that wants them. Bottom line, I am asking the commission look deeply into the eviction of past resident 7112, a severely disabled woman. Thank you very much. Can you, can you state your name for the minutes? My name is Kenneth Richard Pratt. And thank you for having a public input. Thank it's you. important in our democracy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we also need an address. Could you uh, give me an address? Yes, sir. Okay. 81 Collins, apartment 319. Great. That's fine. Is, there and is that helpful? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to welcome everybody here, and uh, we probably should call a roll. Make sure we know who all is here and who's not. Can we start? I need uh, uh, Michael Morton, North Hampshire. My name is Kuna. Kuna. My name is Robbie Kuna. City Councilor Marianne Labarge, Vice Chair. Jean Page Chair. Marie Westford, ADA Coordinator for the City. Jeremy Dubs, Member. Uh, Doug Reddy, Recorder. And we have the notes of the uh, September 17th meeting. So it was a public forum, so yes. all of this is public comment. Oh, yeah. oh that we'll, we'll have to have to have to look at the notes for September 17th, the next time we meet. We all have those notes. Okay. 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 Did we? Yeah, we weren't able to vote those in. So, but yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't. Uh, did I send you the minutes of September 17th? Okay. So we'll have to we'll have to look at those next time. Okay. But the um, October fifteenth. We have yeah, we have an October fifteenth. Uh, oh boy! Well, so I didn't put those on the agenda. I don't know if we can actually attend no. them. But we we can point to the fact that we have those in, in our hands. Yeah. Um, Emma did point out that her she was um, she yeah. was at this forum. Yeah. Human rights, mm -hmm. next item. Human, human rights commission mm -hmm. survey. Yes. yes. Um, well, we're we're gonna I'm gonna put, we'll have to vote on them next time that we meet. Because I, I messed up and I didn't put them on the agenda. Mistakes happen. Um, so uh, the drafts, they're posted on the website as draft. So they're, we are, uh, yeah, so we, um, we will deal with them at the next meeting. Um, so can you state your name for 
from the Rights Commission. So, oh, me? Yes. I I don't believe that I would be classified as a Human Rights Commission. Oh, you're not? No, my name is Alula. I came to talk about the ordinance that's being proposed for oh, the city. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Yes, please, go ahead. <laughs> oh, great. Um, Could you give me your name again? Sure, it's Alula Shields, A-L-U-L-A. Shield? Shields, yes. With an S or not? With an S. With an S. Okay, good. Thank you. So, so this would can be considered still public comment. Um, I just I thought someone from Human Rights Commission was coming also. So, but okay. I knew you were coming as well. Okay. But I, I had told you if you if you couldn't come, you could be in the public comment section. That way, it's flexible. Great. Okay. So I can. Um, I can take up a little bit of time now if you want, or do you want me to come in at a different point of the meeting? No, I think this is a good time. Um, Great. I think that the commission will care about what you're proposing. Great. So I, um, a, a couple of years ago, I started collecting signatures in the city of Northampton um, that was in support of an ordinance that would ban the distribution and sale of single-use plastic straws from Northampton eateries and stores. And I did so because uh, I'm an environmentalist and I see the plastic problem that we have not only in this country but in the world. And in fact, a new study just came out uh, that was in partnership with WWF and a university in Australia that determined the average human consumed, consumes about a credit card's worth of plastic every week. So plastics are in our water, they're in our air, they're in our soil, they're in our food. And uh, it's a huge problem for not only the generations that currently exist on the planet, but for the generations to come. And one of the easiest ways of tackling the plastic problem is replacing single-use plastic with alternative, more sustainable options. And the straw is one of those products that's easily swapped out for uh, plant-based plastic, which is bioplastic that's generally made from corn. Uh, but there's also other alternatives like paper straws that also biodegrade, and then there's reusable alternatives that include glass, bamboo, stainless steel. You could even get a reusable plastic straw if that's the texture that's necessary. Um, so the ordinance also extends beyond straws to include styrofoam, but, uh, and we are also uh, expanding the plastic straw bin or excuse me, the plastic bag ban um, to close some of the loopholes that current companies in downtown Northampton are exploiting to distribute plastic bags. So I wanted to just come here and propose the ordinance. I have already met with the mayor and the youth commission and certain city councilors. But one thing that's been really important in my discussion with citizens and collecting signatures and in meeting with other people to convey the importance of this ordinance is that this is not an attack on people who need straws to consume food or beverages. Um, this is just a, uh, an ordinance that's proposing alternative solutions that are more sustainable. So I wanted to just answer any questions that anyone might have about the ordinance. Um, and hopefully dispel any fears uh, about how it's going to directly impact or not impact uh, some of the members of this community. Yes, I'm City Councilor Mary Ellen Large. Do you have that ordinance with you? Unfortunately, I don't. So I would sorry. like you to bring it to um, our my council for large people because I want to take a look at that. I want to get the language on it about any health factors. I want to see the research on that. Sure. Um, yes, no problem. Thank you. So I know one of the reasons um, that you mentioned when you called me was um, a lot of people with disabilities need straws. Correct. Um, and that it sounds like there are alternatives to the materials that straws are being made with that wouldn't take straws away from people to use. It's just that there needs to be some 
needs to be some ordinance in the city to make sure that straws that are plastic and damaging to the environment are stopped, stop being used. That's right? correct. And that's only here in this city, right? That's correct. But I, I'm guessing that they're working across the country on this issue also. Yeah, the uh, counselor from East Hampton has expressed interest, Councillor Zarek, and uh, I know that other communities in the valley are also embracing not only plastics, uh, plastic bans in regards to straws, but larger single-use plastic bans. So Buckland just passed a bill that's going to go into effect in June, or maybe it's January. Um, so they're banning all single-use plastics from the town of Buckland, which is a great thing. In North Hampton, we did the banning of the plastic bags. Also, too, when we're talking about plastic straws, we're looking at doing paper straws. I don't know if you've seen them. I have, they're awesome. yeah. They're paper awesome. straws are one of the alternatives. The problem with paper straws for people who need straws to consume food or liquid um, particularly people that are limited. I know what that is. Yeah, yeah. Motor, mobility, right. mobility um, is that sometimes paper straws degrade faster than the person can consume the food or beverage, mm -hmm. let's say. So there are a lot of, uh, so bioplastics are a great alternative to that. They offer the same flexibility and um, kind of that rigidity of uh, normal plastic. Yeah. We, we, usually, we usually have a pretty good time. Oh, I'm sorry. So, I wasn't aware. So we, we have to sort of move along with all of the So we still don't have anybody from human rights. No, I mean, they, I, they weren't sure they could come exactly, but they wanted me to just um, talk about their survey. The postponement of the election of officers due to the Can we just, so, well, I think we just tie up, finish up with our, um, Rodney had a question. Could the friend, my friend, Good evening, my friends. I'm cool at the I would get Holy Dickinson Hospital. The hospital still uses styrofoam cups. Not happy, happy. Good. I remember the time I So I remember a long time ago they did have paper cups. Yeah. That was fine. But the time I Definitely a couple go back to paper cups. That was three or four years ago. We still have styrofoam cups. That's a bad example for the hospital. Thank you. We want to thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. Is there any other questions? No, we really don't have time. Okay, so but do you need us to send a letter in support or do you just want us to people to vote to to show some support in some way like, yeah okay. i think both would be great um if the committee wants to send a letter of support that would be fantastic i understand my time here is short so if you have other questions i'm always happy to answer them after could you please do me a favor i'm not voting on anything until i see the ordinance yeah i need to look at that language yeah thanks so, uh, we'll look at the the week. I, I think it might. I think it might be going for the city council before we meet again. When is it going? Um. So essentially, it's not on. Sure. I know it's not this week, and I know it's not December fifth. So maybe with our new time coming in in January, possibly. Yeah, I have to get the details. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe you can just send send us a note. Send me a note, and I'll let everyone know. Okay. 
Okay, thank Great. you. Yeah. But I'd like that ordinance. I'd like to get that. Sure. Just drop it off to Laura for me. To Laura? Yeah. Okay. She's my counsel. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Next one will be agenda is postponement of election offices due to administrative code. There's one thing though. Uh, we're going to completely reorganize this committee as far as that. Is that right? Well, so this is separate from that issue. Yeah. Um, so the administrative code, what I was told by Lynn Simmons before she left, was that um, even if our bylaws, if the commission's bylaws say that elections happen in October or November, I can't remember right. what they say, she said that um, the city's administrative code overrides that because That's they right. put it into effect that all elections must happen in July. All the what? Elections of council of of um, positions on commission the commission. Any committee, they all happen in July. Okay. Well, 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 okay, well we could take it up with the mayor, but well, that's well, well, that's well, what well, I was well, told. Well, the decision is we're going to be reorganized. I don't understand. <laughs> so what I was my proposal is uh, I'd like to stay on until we reorganize. What, is, what do you mean by reorganize? Well, we, or restructure. Restructure. The mayor's, mayor's letter to me is talking. He's talking about restructuring our organization. Well, we still stand disturbed. Um, well, so I mm -hmm. I won't be the coordinator as of July, uh, January. But as of December 31st. Yes, December 31st. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, You're I, and. Um, there will be a new coordinator, but the, the committee will continue. That's cool. Yes, so the, I don't, uh, um, why does that have to do with the elections? Does that affect the elections? Well, I, I guess I'm getting the next okay. step. Do you really, I just explained to him what we're doing. I've already talked to Wayne Biden, and the restructuring will be coming out of Peg Keller's office. Are you? CDBG coordinator, program coordinator. Part of that position would be the ADA coordinator. And it's unbelievable. If you look at the qualifications that the city is asking for, they are asking for somebody who actually deals as an ADA coordinator and knows the laws, knows yep, the laws. Right. We're going in the right direction here. We're going in with the planning department with Wayne Biden. We're going in with the Department of Public Works. Extremely important. And also the building inspector. So there is a restructuring going on here. And it's in the best direction. Yeah, We've been trying to move work. the ADA coordinator out of here, even when Pat Shaughnessy was here and Linda Desmond. It's a lot of work for a director of the senior center to have to do all this. So that's what the restructuring is going to be if you read the letter from the mayor. Okay, all this is going to happen at some point. We don't know yet in January. Will that include the like, restructuring of the actual commission? No. Mm -hmm. No. So it's probably, I don't know if it's going to be held here. It could be held in the hearing room. It could be held at city council chambers. We don't know. And it's an advisory committee. That's what it is. So for the purposes of this meeting, though, I think we'll, because of what we were advised about elections, we should go past, we should go to the next item. Yes, I agree. OK. So some people have done some work on the elections and also do fun. I think Emma has a lot Yeah, I think Emma wanted to say something. Um, I just wasn't clear in the ordinance you cited where the language was that this would be like not being able to have an election except for in Jopet. Right. Well I I have to go by what was the mayor's office said exactly. and they said that the administrative code that they created they created this part of the administrative code to make sure that all city committees and commissions have elections at the same time. And so our bylaws, we were going by our bylaws or the bylaws of the commission, and they said that 
Um, those need to be changed so that, that the administrative code overrules the bylaws of this committee. So we cannot hold elections. Okay, I, I guess I'm just confused because I didn't read any language that said you can only have elections in July. The language that I read was like the first meeting after July 1st. Right. Well, so, but the, what the way they interpret that is that whether it's clear, I mean, I need to go look at the exact sentence you're talking about, but they said that it has, they have to be in the first meeting within the first of July. So in the month of July is what they're saying. All right. In other words, what's happening here, she's correct about what she's saying. But if you notice appointments, not everybody, it's the same when they're being appointed on boards, committees, or commissions. Okay, some people are on a two-year term, some are on a three-year term, whatever. So you're all not the same. And what happens is the mayor's office keeps track. Us counselors, like the committees for appointments, we are actually, our committee is responsible, which we find out from the mayor, who is due to come on our list for being interviewed to be on, on boards, committees, or commissions. So not everybody is the same. That July that she's talking about is when they start. Yeah, when new appointments are yes. made and people start. Yes. But um, not everybody starts at the same time. Look at us counselors. We all start, we get um, our inauguration is in January, the first Monday. And then we have up until February, we get assigned to all kinds of meetings. Everybody's different. Human rights is different, and even Marie on your board. Not everybody is a two-year term. They they rotate. Right, but that that doesn't have to do with any date of elections, right? No. Okay. No. Yeah. But everybody does not get elected July first. No, no. I think they're saying you can't hold elections as in your meeting. Exactly. Yes. You're right. Right. Sure. Can there be any clarity in that situation? Like, can we communicate with the mayor's office or whoever? Like, I just didn't see in that ordinance that there was language like prohibiting elections. Oh, yeah, I, I can mention it to them. That's not clear, but I don't. Um, right. There. Did you read through the whole? I, yeah. Okay, so I'll let them know that it's not clear. Um, I'm not sure what the process is that they have to go through to change administrative code, but. Um, and it makes sense because we're going to restructure in January. So chairs will be chosen then and vice chairs. I, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't <laughs> yeah. know how that works. If they're going to make you guys wait till July. We don't know. That's yeah. just it. Well, I, I'll find out. So okay. that, yeah, at least you'll know. Next line is Mayor's Law about uh, instructing the ADA to coordinate position. Not what that is on the other side of what you're looking at. Oh, um, on the you know, other side of the agenda is Wayne Trident's letter. Yes, I like that. And then, uh, but the, the letter from the mayor was October 22nd. And that's about the change in. I agree. Remember we talked about that. I mean, I agree with this. So this, this is a lot about restructuring. Is there any more comment we need, need to be made about this law to be made? Something like What it's saying on here, vote to accept, amend, or hold off. So I'm making a recommendation that we hold off until we restructure the Commission on Disabilities. So that's the next agenda item about Wayne's letter. Oh, that's what Wayne I is jumped to the next one. Wayne is asking if the Commission would hold off on um, transition plan. Yeah, on voting right. in the plan. So then I'll make a recommendation that Wayne Biden, our director of planning, right, is requesting that we hold off finalizing the ADA transition plan 
after a new coordinator is in place. Um, well, well, let's make sure you have that. Repeat that to us if you would. Doug? Yes. Oh, okay. Just to make sure you knew he was asking you. <laughs> Say again, Jim. I want you to repeat her motion. Oh, I. Okay, so we're saying that, that Wayne's letter is asking to hold off on approving the final transition plan until this sorry, this restructuring happens in January. Yeah, totally. So that's why like, he's like suggesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so are you suggesting, Mary, that we need to vote on that? I'm uh, making a motion that Wayne Biden has requested our Commission on Disabilities. Um, hold off on finalizing the um, ADA um, transition. Is there a second? I think I'm a little bit unfair on exactly what that situation is about. It's like holding off on. Oh, well, we were going to vote. Today was going to be a vote to either accept the transition plan as it stands. And I sent it all to you with revisions. And then, um, but Wayne was saying there's a lot of things that could be added that would really bolster the plan. Exactly. And um, that are related to funding that he's going after. Mm -hmm. And so he was saying that it really kind of makes sense to have the new ADA coordinator work with the commission to make the ADA transition plan hardier than it is now and um so he's asking the commission to consider that and to not finalize the draft to go to the mayor yet and so then it would be presented to the mayor once it's in its final form with the new coordinator's help and wayne Fiden's oversight and then the mayor would send it on to city council and there could be a presentation to city council of it in its new form. And that's saying that that would happen in January? Pardon? Can you speak louder? Mm -hmm. um, and, and he's saying that that would happen in January? Maybe. Probably not because the coordinator right. will come on in January. Okay. And so I'm sure that whoever he hires will have a higher level of skill than I do. And that with Wayne's guidance that this could happen, you know, the, all of these things that he wants to incorporate can happen pretty quickly, but I can't say, and I don't think he can say exactly when wow. it would be fine, when it would be ready for you to all look at it and, and vote exactly. to finalize it. But it seems like a good plan. Thank, thank you. Yeah. I think Rodney has a comment. Right now, the problem is. I didn't get this letter till tonight. The letter from the mayor. The problem is I should have received it a couple of weeks ago. So I said, I'm going to be able to ask questions. Um, Tonight, I'm just looking at it in time to read it. So I emailed it to Rodney. Yes. We are restructuring this commission. That's why the mayor has written us in Wayne Biden. So that when we restructure it, okay, it's going to become stronger. I think that my hesitation is just to know if, um, like if he needs to wait a few months or if it's like maybe in a year. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 I mean, this letter, I mean, he's, um, I met with Wayne and I talked about the all the things that I, since I've been on that um, we've been working on and the concerns of the commission and the real, you know, 
strong feelings from the commission and the public that this transition plan go forward. But it seems like since there's going to be a whole new city council coming on, um, that to present it in the form that it is now, without all these things that Wayne wants to add to it, to the council members that are leaving instead of to the council members who are coming on, that it doesn't really make sense because they're going out the door, right? So we it would make more sense to to add all these things to have Wayne's help with that. Um, and like to, you said, Murray, making it stronger. Wayne's going to be looking at certain yeah. areas with the DPW and also with the building inspector. Yeah, and the, you know, so all the feedback that we got in those forums and that we got from city department heads. Um, they have that, and so if there's something they want to follow up on with those department heads, that will be a good thing too. But they're going to have somebody who knows all the laws and knows a lot more than I do and has the time to actually dedicate exactly. to this process. That's really going to, I think, everyone's concerns um, will be addressed more thoroughly. And, and I really don't think that this is a stalling tactic in any way, and I don't think that it's going to be six months from now. I think it's really um, at the top of Wayne's list with the new person. And that person, it will be a priority for them too, because it's gonna be a big part of their work coming on. They, they'll, it'll be their first project, really. Um, so, I mean, I really have faith in Wayne. And I do too. He, he really cares about this. Um, and I think um, he, he did look through the whole transition plan and give a lot of feedback, which I incorporated. Plus, the Thanks. mayor and Wayne have been involved with this idea for a long time. The whole transitional plan didn't happen just a year ago. The mayor and Wayne and the Department of Public Works have been working on a lot of this stuff. Now Wayne, thank God, he didn't get that job. <laughs> and stay with us because he's very energetic and very brilliant on what he does with plan. And he knows exactly what we're asking for as people with disabilities. So I agree with Murray. This is something that we're not going to rush. Okay, as far as interviewing applicants and stuff like that, we want the best. Yeah, and that's and happening right now, too. too. They're interviewing. Exactly. They're interviewing now, so it should be very soon that they have a coordinator. Um, and I did inter I did incorporate um, a whole list of things that Wayne has made happen yes. around ADA, ADA issues, um, which some of which um, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if people even knew about the electric uh, wheelchair charging station and in front of City Hall. Like, there's some things that have just happened, you know, this last six months right. or so. The, the electric chair yeah, that she was talking about is something that we brought up here a year ago. But the mayor and Wayne, before that, were looking at how to find money for them. That's not cheap. Okay. So, uh, this is the last agenda item. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I, let me just read the motion now as we've had this conversation. So, Mar Marianne, I've said to approve Wayne's request uh, that the commission hold off on finalizing the transition plan until the new ADA coordinator is hired and Wayne has strengthened the plan. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. So, so that's a movement. Is that we need a second? Second. Yes. Is something to your motion? Okay. Those in favor? Who seconded? Who seconded? You have a second? I thought you had a second. Okay. 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 Yes, um, new business. Yeah, I mean, we, you can always add something. Mm -hmm. I know, like, see something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. New business. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
I talked with Jean in regards, and I also brought it to our Indian coordinator's attention, in regards to the December meeting. There is absolutely nothing to talk about. We have to wait until January about canceling the meeting for December. Brad, you already told me yes. I'm the chairman. I'm not going to hit a hack. I don't think. I need to do uh, does anybody else have an opinion about the uh, December meeting? No? Yeah. Is there a motion then before? I make a motion. The motion is made to be. Well, I feel like there is business, like there is other stuff to do besides the aviation plan, um, particularly summer removal, like winter is coming up very soon, and there's no plan yet for what we're going to do. We have about months. There's no plan. Well, there is no plan. I mean, it's in right. the ADA plan, but... Yeah, in the meantime, people are going to have to, like, suffer for that. Like, can't go to the grocery store, and they're going to have food or whatever. Right, but I mean, we can meet and talk about it, but we can't do anything about it because it's <clears throat> It's part of what you're going to be advocating for with the ADA plan. Um, Plus, Mary, it is we have to go to calls and they tell the people and you need to show their sidewalks. Well, there'll be yeah right. announcements about showing your sidewalks, right. but what he's bringing up is that people will be stuck at home because they can't get their sidewalks. She shows. has tried. We've had a list here at the senior center. And it has gone to what? Hardly nothing now as far as people coming forth because of the liability program. Yeah, I think even um, Northampton neighbors, that is yes. really appealing to people's um, sense of community, um, that a lot of people are hesitant to help because of liability issues. Yes. Because it, you know, it's just, it's one of those things. So I think, um, although it's something that we have we talk about it probably at every meeting mm -hmm. um it's it's going to take a while for the city to come up with a plan and they like i said i think in our forum like there, there's no way that the city can remove every everyone's snow it's just like the taxes right. we'd all have to move out of town because the taxes would be so high one thing to know, to I even went to the sheriff, Patrick Calloway, because I have several people in my city that are disabled. And they cannot even go and have the inmates. Even on a program, their lawyers will not allow it because of liability. That's a big deal. Yes, but we need us um, um, to melt all the snow, I think. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm concerned about a lot of the businesses downtown of Hampton that, like, just don't, don't do anything. Okay, hey, now what you do with that? You immediately call the police. Well, right, but you see what you're, you're, what you're saying, you're, you're asking for people with wheelchairs to go outside and have to report that themselves, risking their own safety to do that. Do you understand that? Now call the police department. I can't call the police until I go and see who's, who's right, who's not snowing, who's not shoveling. Right, well, so, so I have to go out. And see for myself um, in order to do that, and I have to risk my own safety. Yeah. Right, go in the middle of the street. Well, so last fall, I think it was, um, the chief of police came to this meeting. Yeah. We asked the chief of police to come, uh -huh. and Jody said that a lot of businesses, like, they can be reported, but a lot of businesses choose to collect fines rather than to deal with. Well, that's not great. That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's just that's, that's terrible. That's shitty. It is. It yeah. is. Um, but so. We can't, we can't accept that. I can't accept that. No, and I think it's all in the ADA plan, and it's going to have to be part of discussions with the DPW and with um, the mayor around how to solve the problem for funding and for resources to, to deal with snow and to force, to make it. Um, you know, really an incent incentivize somehow, whether it's through fines or other ways for businesses to, to invest. I mean, I think, you know, yes, we can't, we can't solve it right away and it is going to affect people this winter. Yeah. And um, so, but I don't think our meeting in December will actually create any change, is what I'm saying. 
that I know where you're coming at, it's a big problem. Yeah. A very serious problem. Is there any way to like maybe start like a subcommittee or something like that? It's just about that. A subcommittee. Like some kind of like you know like a, a, a group that's just that their only goal is to fix the snow problem. Maybe well, maybe like a designated driver it might be helpful in an area to have one person that would go and look that could do it easily. And tell the other person they got doing it. Right. Well, that that would sort of need to be like kind of a grassroots thing that yeah. couldn't really be exactly. something that the commission yeah. did. And um, also, I think, you know, this this commission is an advisory commission. And so really what it needs to be is ongoing communications with the new ADA coordinator, which will include conversations with all the departments that have that need to work together to do something about this, but it really is going to come down to funding and resources, because it's it's. Uh, I mean, the DPW is already struggling to roast snow, and maybe there are recommendations that can be made. Like, like we sometimes we talk about, let's ask them to dump the snow in a different place. <laughs> like maybe it's really that there are some areas that we've talked about where the snow is being dumped that creates an accessibility issue. And so there needs to be sort of more thoughtfulness in their practices about what they're doing. Because if they don't know what the issues are, they're not thinking about it, right? They're not thinking, oh, this is covering an area where someone actually uses to get across and we're covering it up. Can we just raise a question, another question? <clears throat> Would it be possible to write a letter to Wayne in his office and say, commission members are concerned about winter coming on and the winter issues that are in the plan, and we agree to hold off on approving the plan, but we just want to highlight our concern about these winter issues. And uh, if there is anything your office can do to make sure, I mean, it just it's just raising, it's just saying, hey, pay attention. This is going to happen. Well, they, um, I mean, Wade exactly. worked on this plan, and he knows it's in there, and the mayor knows exactly. it's in there. And they've, I mean, they're very aware. It's just they don't, they don't have the money and the resources, right? So they can talk to the DPW. So I think that if you were to, like, we, we have brought up specific areas, right? Or specific issues. So if you were to call the DPW and say, I just want you to be aware that you are creating a problem by doing this, and maybe you didn't realize that it maybe is there somewhere else you could put the snow that you're dumping in this place. But I don't think that we can, on a larger scale, address the broader issue. I think it, it we at this point, like maybe you could address specific issues like reporting a business that never shovels um, things like that because then the departments that are issuing tickets and things like that then they they start to pay attention we but, did that yeah. last year phil sullivan mm -hmm. who would call me and let me know about the shoveling some of the businesses and so forth it's like a task force, right? A neighborhood watch kind of thing. Like, I mean, it's good to call the businesses out. Yeah, I do. I think that it's important. Um, I just wish, I just wish, like, uh, there's just a like more guarantee that they're going to get called out so the people in the village didn't have to do it. Yes, I agree. Yeah. And um, Marie has tried all last year. With the amount of phone calls of the consulate that I get, not just Ward 6, when people that I know throughout the city don't have the resource. I wonder if we sent a letter to the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, have them scout out and look. Well, if they just said, reminded them that it's the good business to <laughs> shovel your walk. I mean, a, whatever direction you can oh, get at. Or something that is. The, the very knowledgeable, something in the bat is polite. Or the chamber. I think there's a motion on the floor. 
Is there a motion to pull about the minutes in December? Yes, uh, what I have down is, is the motion to not meet in December. I mean, was I second? I don't have a second, yes. No. Well, well, we discussed, yeah, that second answer. Is I mean, the thing is, Rodney's right, it is the most important thing happening. I mean, this is a disability commission, the most important thing to disabled people, at least the ones in wheelchairs, is a substance abuse. And on cartridge, too. Right, yeah, now, and Bobby has a big time on walking over there. I, and I understand, I, I think that um, that's what's been so frustrating about, I think, the, this whole process for everyone is that um, it, even if the ADA plan was put into effect right now, it would still take time to figure out a solution. Oh, I understand. I don't have a Right. Did someone second the motion to release that? Did find someone finally second the motion? Is not me in the same? Well, I'm a second. I'm a second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. This is about not coming in. So we're not going to meet until January. That's correct. Yeah, we voted no. Those in favor say no. So I have it. He voted no. Is that right? What is it? Is that part of new business? No. I have new business. I just want to wish everybody happy, happy holidays. Okay. And if you run into a problem with all the snow, go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is that a motion to be adjourned? Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. We all adjourn. Aye.